Hey team, hope you all had a great weekend. New Zealand USD starting on the monthly as usual. We're just looking for flow and area sensitivity. We see even sell pressure. We see even buy pressure. And we can even identify mid-range sensitivity. So let's identify our zones. Okay, so now let's make sense of things. We see strong push to the downside. Price found buyers. Then it came back for a higher time frame exhaustion. Then see sell sensitivity with double confirmation for our continuational push on the higher time frame. So in summary, the monthly chart is telling us that we are in a monthly continuational push. So now let's take a closer look. Okay, we've taken it down to the weekly. Here's our monthly mid-range zone. Here's our monthly lower zone. And here's our weekly mid-range zone, which we were able to identify due to the buy pressure, which is now turning into sell pressure. All right, so what is this telling me? Buyers kept price from breaking to the downside, which means there was a lot of buy sensitivity. Now, sellers took control, breaking that mid-range zone to the downside with the push. We are now in exhaustion. We have a potential continuational push to the downside. Just like we saw on the monthly, we have the same type of pattern here on the week. Now, before we take it down a time frame, what I notice is how strong this exhaustion really is. And when we take it back to the monthly, we can see this strong bullish engulfing candle close. So that's something to be aware of because we know that there's a lot of buyers in the market. What I really like about Kiwi USD is that price made things really, really clear for us. There's only two real trade options. So what are those trade options? You know that price is respecting its weekly zone. There's a lot of sell or buy sensitivity at this area, which means that price is either going to make a move to the downside or it's going to continue to the upside to its next zone, which would be its monthly mid-range zone or its monthly lower zone. All right, so here's our first potential entry on Kiwi USD. If price finds continuous sell support, we're waiting for that impulse move to the downside, exhaustion and price action confirmation, like a bearish engulfing candle close or significant pin bar to send us to its monthly lower zone. Now, what would make this trade invalid? There's two things that would make this trade invalid. If price's impulse move does not come back for exhaustion and continues to the downside, this trade becomes invalid because risk reward is now less than optimal. Now, the second thing that would make this trade invalid is if price does not find the sell support it needs at its weekly mid-range zone and continues to break to the upside. I would also make this trade invalid because we now know that there's not enough sellers in the market for that continuational push to the downside. So this is a good lesson in terms of adjustment. If price continues to break to the upside, does that mean we're done with this? Absolutely not. If price fails to see the sell orders it needs for that push to the downside, it means that buyers have control over the market. So if price starts to play above its weekly mid-range zone, we're now looking long. So the first entry would be this potential short. Impulse move, wait for exhaustion, price action confirmation to the downside. We're looking for entry on the daily. And if price fails to see sell orders and needs to go to the downside, we're waiting for that strong move to the upside. This would be considered a push, it means a significant move. We're then waiting for exhaustion and price action confirmation to send us to the upside.